A German cabinet minister had a scare when protesting farmers prevented him from disembarking from a ferry that he was traveling on. Economy Minister Robert Habeck was returning from holiday on a North Sea island. Police had to use pepper spray to disperse the angry nighttime crowd. Farmers have been up in arms over government plans to withdraw tax breaks for the agricultural sector. Habeck later reached the mainland safely. So let's get more from our chief political correspondent, Nina Haza. Nina, what does this say about the political climate in Germany? Because, I mean, there's more at play here, isn't there? There is, Sarah, and uh, it is not looking good. That's uh, what it says, what these pictures say. Mr. Habeck himself reacted on Friday morning, said that he was very concerned about how agitated the mood is becoming across the country. And he added that he's above all worried for all those who are elected officials all over the country, like mayors, for example, of small towns, who face similar abuse or aggression on a daily basis and who don't, like him, have police protection. He does that, of course. He does have that because he's a cabinet minister. And interestingly, that was a sentiment that was shared by man many people on Friday, also high-ranking politicians, also from the opposition Conservative Party, who all have reacted in big numbers to those pictures from the ferry that they see that organized hassle, hassling like that has nothing to do with legitimate protest, they say, that red lines are crossed in situations like that, and that they fear that the mood is at tipping point here in Germany, that fact-based political discourse and the search for compromise, something that Germany is so well known for around the world and is proud of, is at risk. And that's, of course, something that we've seen in other countries too. There are also groups who benefit from driving society further apart, and that is also something that appears to be happening here. The Farmers' Union has distanced uh, themselves from those protests. They say they have nothing uh, to do with that, but there are obviously groups who benefit from pictures like this. Mm, OK, and I want to drill down a little bit more into the mood overall in the country. Um, I'm going to first look at the numbers, and you're going to stay with me. Um, because it comes as German opinion polls indicate that support for Chancellor Olaf Scholz and his government are, in fact, at a record low. Less than 20% of participants in the survey by public broadcasters say that they are pleased with the government's performance, with the vast majority saying that they are not satisfied. 83% of people say that they are concerned about the current situation in Germany, only 13% feel optimistic. Germans continue to broadly support their government's decision to supply Ukraine with weapons to defend itself against Russia's invasion. And a total of 52% say that they are in favor of continuing to provide financial support to Ukraine. So, Nina, it seems pretty clear that Germans are not happy. Can the government survive this? Well, this government um, has another year and a half to go until Germans go to the polls again regularly. That is the rest of their term. And, of course, they are dealing with lots of challenges. Germany is going through a very difficult period as a country, so any government, you have to always say that, would be having a tough time at the moment. They're having to save money because the court has told them they have to. That's never popular with the public. The economic model that this country has benefited from so long is being challenged. There are multiple international crises that directly affect Germany, like Russia's war on Ukraine, also the situation in the Middle East that's also uh, driving a big rift here in society. There's the climate crisis, populism on the rise, etc. But yes, there are also homemade problems. They are a three-way coalition with very strong individual parties with very different priorities at times. They're not very good at communicating the measures they're taking jointly. They're arguing in public, also not something that's very popular with voters. They're having to withdraw measures after long months of public debate. At times, people are frustrated. They can't plan properly. But I dare say that they will stick together until Germans go to the polls again next year. The FDP, the smallest party, had a vote and uh, the small majority said that they want to stay in the coalition. That was always sort of a big question mark. And to be honest, if uh, there were fresh elections at the moment, all of these three parties know that they would lose. DW's Nina Haza, Chief Political Correspondent. Thank you.